Hello and welcome back to another episode when it's somebody's birthday yet again. Today is Arthur's birthday. Oh man. And uh, we're going to see if it goes as, as well as his sister's birthday did. And by that I mean uh, aged up without me being able to do anything about it. I wanted to throw her out like have a nice little cake for her or something, but uh, that didn't happen. So he's going to school in about an hour and uh, eating the what's left of his mother's grilled cheese. Because that's a thing. <laughs> um, but so yeah, this is how things are going to work. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, we're going to finish out this episode. We're going to age him up. We're going to give him his usual age up makeover. And then we are going to pause aging for a little bit. Oh, uh, somebody else is up it looks like. Because uh, I want to really get to know each of these two kids before we do the vote. So we're going to do two episodes where we focus entirely on each of them. One for him and one for her. So that way then uh, you can get a feel for the two of them. Uh, I'll probably uh, give her the day off from work when that happens. And when he gets a job, he'll get the day off from work as well too. So uh, let's see. What do we all need, actually? Why are you reading this book when you need to eat and need to pee as well? Okay, well, he goes to school first. He needs to shower, but I don't know if that's going to happen before we go. So he's more hungry. So you have a quick meal, some animal crackers really quick. As for you, you need to pee. Like, you need to pee. You gotta pee, and then you gotta eat. So you're gonna pee, and then you will, uh, cook yourself. Is there a way to, like, figure out, like, oh, this is a vegetarian meal. Isn't, is brioche veg vegetarian safe? Uh, I don't know. Are fish tacos? Well, let's just do, let's do, uh, I wanted to do Let's do pancakes. Pancakes. Single serving of pancakes. She's going to cook herself some pancakes. Actually, you know what? Are they going to be hungry when they wake up? Mm, he's going to be hungry when he wakes up. So let me actually have her cook pancakes again. And I'm going to have her do multiple servings of pancakes. So that way then everybody gets some pancakes. Family size. Cancel that. Lord of the Swings. I don't need that. Work begins for Paolo in an hour, so he needs to get up as well, too. He needs to get up and he needs to pee, too. Everybody needs to pee. We need more bathrooms. I can't wait to have a house with multiple bathrooms and such in it. Actually, really quick. What did you all get? Sell. Sell. So, she's got a bunch of stuff too. Sell. 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 And sell. There we go. All right. So that made us a little bit more money. It's still slow going to get to that house. I definitely don't think we're going to get out of this apartment anytime soon, unfortunately. I mean, I could technically put them at a cheap lot and build a house myself, but no, I don't want to do that. I'm not a very good builder when it comes to houses. Okay, she needs to clean this really quick. Oh, dang, that sucks. What is he doing? Oh, he's reading. Okay, Arthur's off to school. Uh, he... Clean, clean, clean. Could you come and have something to grab a serving? You need to pee. And then you also need to grab a serving, too. Grab a serving. Dude, how long before he... Oh my god, he's gonna die tomorrow! No, he's gonna die tomorrow! He's gonna die tomorrow, you guys. Holy crap. Oh my god. No! He's gonna die tomorrow. Oh, I hate having time like this. No, don't miss work. 
Uh, I miss being able to adjust the ages so I can make a really long young adult and adult age and really short everything else. Because to age the kids up, I have to make them. Oh, he's going to die tomorrow, but not tomorrow, tomorrow, because like I said, after this episode, I am going to actually... Game options. I could technically do that right now. What is it for? It's gameplay. Oh, it's short. We're gonna go with long now. Yes. Yes. That's not gonna help us right now in the moment. But we are also really quick on it. Game options gameplay uh, only active households how do we auto age unplayed sim no I think that's how it works I think they don't die now I think that's how it works we'll find out tomorrow if he dies or not just because like I said I want to get to know our two teens well, not teens, one teen and our two young adults. So that way uh, we can feel more about them. You know. So you now, know. how many days until she ages up now? Because I've said it's too long. It doesn't tell me. Okay. She needs to be social. She's doing real good. So maybe... Oh no, this has been... This needs to be repaired too? Dang it. Uh, when does she go to work? Oh, she goes to work to us. Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Why don't you come and repair this really quick? So, actually, you know what? Mother and daughter could have a mother-daughter day here, technically. <clears throat> Sorry. Ooh. I mean, I don't want to go too far, because our son is going to be aging up today. Um, tomorrow's Harvest Fest. So, maybe we'll give them, like, oh god, I don't want Apollo to die on a, on a holiday. Harvest Fest, I think, will be, like, their last day together. Someone famous over the lounge. Want to go check it out? Mm. If you invite my daughter, if he, if he had invited his, the daughter, if he had said, like, oh, let's invite more Sims, maybe. Maybe. But not today. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. That's another spirit. I can't see. I can't connect to these spirits because of the fact that there's no tombstones to connect with them. That's the only way to like save them. But I can't save them if there's no tombstone. Which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. right, she can come and guess what? Write a jingle. Write a jingle. Right, Jingle. Let's make a little bit of money there. And you are actually gonna write, start a genre book, a children's book. Why not? You just go in there and start a book. Let's like make some money, cause I mean, books will be good, cause books will give us royalties, and royalties will give us house. Uh, this is a children's book. What's the name of this book? Uh. Um, the dog goes, no, what does the fox say? <laughs> ding, ding. I'm singing it in my head. I don't want to sing it out loud. Ding, ding. Ding, a, ding, a, di I know that's not right. I know that's not right. Don't correct me, but it's close. So she can write that book as she's writing a jingle and making us some money. Yeah. She's getting so good at the piano, too. Play an instrument. So you need to get up to level eight for the piano. Dang, y'all. Both just work away. 
Working magic. Sounds like something awesome is happening in your place. Mind if I come check out? I do mind, because you're the neighbor I don't actually like. Alright, there we go. 500 bucks, yeah! She's gonna write another jingle while she's writing her book. I think that the neighbor is outside the door singing? No. Whoa! Whoa! I'm shook! You guys, that sim just sang in English. That was not simlish. That was freaking English. Neighbor, thou hast shooketh me. Like, that might just be like the starring moment of this episode. Cause that sim just sang in English. What? Okay, no, I can't even, not anymore. Nope, bye. Meanwhile, uh, Shahrazad did reach level three of writing, which is good because that's what she needed to get a promotion, but she's still a ways off from that because she is still just a freelance article writer. So does this have anything for her career? Yeah, find a job. Oh, no, just not for her actual career, but for other careers. Gosh, it is so dark in their bedroom because they just have those two little lights, but oh well. All right, so she's still over here doing good with that. Uh, Arthur's going to come home and age up. No companies wanted. Better luck. Oh, next jingle. Let's try this next one. All right, just zoom on through this until something happens with one of the two of them. Finish a book. Sell a jingle. One of the other ladies. Either or. Come on. Come on. What an achievement. Scheherazade finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Scheherazade can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Okay, girl. Let's see how we do here. Click on the mailbox. Self-publish. What does the fox say? And then you and your mom can play a game together. Play multiplayer game. Play My Sims Racing. Congratulations, Scheherazade self-published a book. She won't make as much money as selling rights to a publisher. But we'll receive a small amount in royalties daily. All right, how do I sell to a publisher? I don't know how to do that. I guess maybe not until I'm further along. Can I sell to a publisher? All right, can you come and join the game? Join the game, all right. All right throw that out. And throw that over there. There we go. So, I think I actually, like, sent the book away. Hey, someone favored one of my lots that I have in the game. So, I actually have, uh, just a little side note here. I have this new set group of Sims that I made, which is, I'm obsessed with the musical uh, Six right now. So, these are my, the queens of Six, based on the Six Wives of Henry VIII. It's a musical, it's a thing. I'm, you can pause and read the description of it right here, but go check it out on my, uh, my profile, if you if you want to play and accept my challenges that I put forward with it, yeah. Amber underscore Lee underscore D. Promotion done. <laughs> All right, could you two, like, talk or something? Because your mom really does need some social, like. Or just, like, I, I also, she needs to get her guitar skills up. So now we can actually throw this away. And how are you doing here? Okay, she's going to read a book. What is she reading? I don't know what she's reading here. Gourmet cooking. Okay. Okay. I don't think her cooking skill is up enough, though, to actually do gourmet cooking. So maybe could you two, like, talk or something? Like, have, like, I don't know, inside tip, heartfelt compliments. Like, you guys just don't talk enough talk. Okay, she's going outside to talk to her. I guess they're going downstairs to talk. That's okay. That's acceptable. Because maybe while they're out here, we can grab some posters and sell them. Yes. Grab a poster. Grab a poster. 
And we're good. Okay, so what is she up to? Did Arthur just age up? Oh, Arthur, dude. Mmm. You are in really boar shape. So you gotta take a shower. And actually, since he has not aged up, because I turned off age up, so he's not going to age up. Yes. So we can actually do this the correct way. Come on in here and cook him a chocolate cake. While she's collecting the posters. All right, and you need to just take a shower because you are stanky. Stanky, stanky boy. See, if he, if I hadn't turned it off, he would have aged up just now. But, yeah, we're good. Right, he's not having any fun either. So, yikes on that, too. Okay, so mom's going to come and cook him a cake. Well, at least the neighbor's trying to do some work there. That's good. All right, and she is collecting some stuff. All right, she's cooking a chocolate cake. We're all good over there. Good there. And his hygiene is going very, very slowly. Like super slow. Ah, she's collecting all of her stuff out here. Gosh, I am really obsessed with her outfit. Like, I do really like her outfit, like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Notification wall full. Ooh, ooh. Let's just really quick get rid of all that. And then you can head back home. Because she's cooking a cake. I have to be make sure that I'm here when the cake is finished so I can put candles on it so no one eats it. Because that happened once before. Um... Not any clubs. I wonder, is there any clubs that she can join? Join a club. Avant-garde. Literature. Notify club members that your sim would like to join their club. Oh, that sounds interesting. Maybe she could be in that. See details. Club hangout. Read books. Read. Do homework. Play video games. Drink coffee. Write. Eh, why not? Come hang out with us if you're impressed us. You can apply for the avant-garde. Uh, no, she can do that later. We'll apply for an invite later on. If, if you know what, if she becomes the heir, we will join the avant-garde. Actually, maybe what this will do in her like episode. Yeah. Okay, so stop. Do not, repeat, do not eat that cake. Add candles to the cake. There we go, all right. As soon as he is done in there, say goodbye to the Teen Dream Club, because that's going to go away once we age up here. We are going to make a wish, and we are going to blow out the candles. Mother and daughter are so close, I love it. As they sit here around his birthday cake, waiting for him. I take so many thumbnails with them as blowing out their candles, but I'm not going to do it this time. And Arthur aged up, so Arthur previously got self-assured and got snob. Let's Oh, he got responsible! He got the responsibility trait. Good for him. So, what's his last trait going to be? Unflirty! These sims get tense around flirty sims and seldom get flirty themselves. It's difficult for them to be romantic in public. Ooh. Is this a trait that we think works for King Arthur? Because, I mean, King Arthur, Guinevere... Mm, we might come back to this. Let's see if we get something better. Non-committal! That's definitely not it, because he gets... Okay, you know what? I think I got... He got unflirted there twice, so I think we got to go with unflirty. No. Ooh, that could potentially be an issue in the future, though. Alright, you know what, sir? You can 
take a piece of cake really quick. No, you don't take a piece of cake. You, sir, are hungry, so you can take a piece of cake. I'll let you eat your cake, and then once you've eaten your cake, we will come over here, and we will change your sim up. We will change him up, because he's still in his teen years outfit. Oh, apparently we're going to go and do that while we're eating cake. That works, too. That works, too. So let's go with him because it's time for him to get his young adult look. All right, so you know the drill at this point. Uh, this is where we are going to do a quick little time skip because I'm going to work on his updated look. And then we will be back momentarily and give ourselves a little look at Arthur Grimm, young adult. All right, and that was one of the quickest makeovers I ever made. This kid was really easy to style. Well, not kid, he's a young adult now, but this was really easy to do his restyling. Like, he just, like, spoke to me, unlike his sister did. Like, Scheherazade's makeover took forever. This took me, like, five minutes to do. So this is his new everyday look. His new formal look. Very dashing. His whole thing is his, he's very dashing. The, like, kind of, like, fancy hair and like a little bit of like facial hair going on uh this is his sports look i mean his athletic look i love that he still has this t-shirt i love the idea that he saw this t-shirt he just got new pants his party look i thought was like dang i don't know what it is about this but i was just like that's him that's arthur he's so cool well, at least he thinks he's cool with this outfit, but I don't know if this outfit is cool. This is, like, either a really cool outfit or an outfit that a dork wears thinking he looks cool. It could be either or. Swimmer is literally unchanged. I didn't change anything. Actually, do I want to toss? Mm, nah, we'll just leave Swimmer completely unchanged. Uh, hot weather wear. I think that was one of his father's shirts previously. Uh, I can't quite recall. Maybe, possibly. Might still be one of his father's shirts. Uh, but then cold weather wear. Um, and that's it for him. So now we have both of our young adults in the game. Whoa, this is so freaky to see them all grown up, you guys. This is so weird. Oh my god. So, oh my god. Oh, I will gush more over the two of them in each of their own pers pers like possible air episodes coming up but that that's that's later this is now we're still in the now gotta finish the now but man do they look so cool <laughs> I, I, again i i feel like maybe i'm like seeing them through a mother's eyes because i oh god oh when one of them grows old and dies it's gonna be so difficult <laughs> All right, so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I hate when they jump like that. They jump around so much. So Paolo also brought home some money. Okay, so. Yeah, he's got, oh, he is not looking happy. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you do not look happy, but you need to eat. Yeah, go eat some cake. Eat some cake. Have some cake. Eat some cake. Enjoy your cake. How's she doing? She is doing good. He, he is not doing good, though. Ooh, boy. You come and take a shower. Do I want to invite in the neighbors? Oh, you know what, Matt? Invite to eat. Come on in, Matt. Actually, let's have her invite to eat. He doesn't have to. Might as well. I don't know if Matt's ever actually, like, come in here before. Oh, not the odor again. Is it the odor by his bed? Yeah, it's the odor by his bed. Ugh. This is the one that always gives me problems when it comes to fixing it. I gotta fix it. It's like, you gotta basically, like, click around it until you find the spot. Ugh. Also, so... Um, he still is in, like, a teenager bed here. I am going to put this in my inventory, and I'm going to spend just a little bit of money to get him a regular bed. Because, like, she's in a regular bed, so I'm going to spend a little bit of money. It's only $300. Oh, that's a cute bed, too. 
This is a teen dreams bed. He's he doesn't need to have a teen. What is this? Excellence in science. Oh, that's something that uh, his dad got. So I'm gonna get a second bed just like his sister's, but first, gotta fix this. There we go. Complain to the landlord. Oh, he's not having any fun. Well, what we do next is not gonna give him any fun either, because we are gonna find a job for you. All right, so, like, career. Let us quit your job, because that's not gonna do. The job that you have is not gonna do. So Matt came over for cake. That's cool. Yeah, quit your job, because you need to find a job. Because you're not going to be a manual laborer. So, uh, I thought about what job I want to send him into. Because, okay, so, here's my thought process on him. He is King Arthur. So, I'm thinking politician? Like, King Arthur was both, like, a king as well as, like, a leader of a, a, a nation and, like, an army. So I was thinking either military. So let's see. Mis military. Physical fitness and discipline will be the keys to success in the military career. Rising through the ranks will not come easy unless you can demonstrate your physical prow prowess as well as your ability to recruit and be a leader. You will pursue the path of a grand marshal or will you follow a more secretive path to uncover what others might be hiding? So either be an officer or a covert operator. I'm thinking politician. Join a life of public service. From protesting against the unjust to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting the occasional bribe as a means to an end. Politics is an interesting, is always interesting. Politician and charity organizer. I'm thinking we go with politician and he goes the politi like the actual politician route not the charity organizer route so that's what I'm thinking so he is going to be a politician so Shahrazad's a writer and Arthur um, choose to support a cause okay well let's see no you know what we're going to support a cause in our next episode what is she, what's going on here with her mmm Cody is still trying to ask out our daughter. No. No, no, no. Like, Matt, dude. Matt, Matt, what is up with your roommate? Like, he's hitting on my sister, and it's not cool, dude. Like, it's not cool at all. Like, look at her. She is quite stunning, actually, now that I look at her. She is quite good looking. <laughs> uh, but, like, he... He'd be hanging around when she was a baby, so that's not cool. Not cool, dude. Like, at all. Okay, now that we move that, we can move the bed back. Okay, we're good now, so... Actually, do I want it to be that color? I, I just kind of bought the bed without even looking at the colors on it. So let me just... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I'm stuck! There we go! Okay, so let me just really quick... Hmm. Let's figure out what color we want this bed to be. Black, blue... There's not a red, which kind of sucks. I guess we'll just go with this black. That works. Basic bedding. One day, maybe they'll have enough money to have interesting things going on. Okay, so what do they all need? Gosh, he has to reach level three of charisma, and he has no charisma. Dang. None at all. So you should come over here and practice your speech really quick. Oh, he's so tense. He needs to have fun. Dang. I guess not. So let me just... Come play game. Come play party frenzy. Wait, what? Matt has identified the bass, a new type of fish, reporting it in certain fishing sports spots from Shahara's... Wait, what? Why do I care about what Matt's doing? I don't. No offense, Matt, but I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to be disturbed. Neighbor I don't like. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Things are really bad for him. Things are bad over here. Things are really, really bad. So we got that, and let's actually uh, take a piece of cake as well. 
for once, she's the one who's doing good in the house. So take a piece of cake really quick, because she just kind of sat down and she didn't actually eat. Her and Matt are getting along pretty good. I mean, he's like way older than her. What's going on here? Um, do we all want to go to the restaurant? No, we don't. We cannot afford it. So he's getting the charisma skill up, which is good. Huh? That's good. Wow, after all this time, she's only at level four for singing. I don't know why, when she's naked, she puts on pants. That's a glitch. <laughs> but whatever. It's all blurred out anyways. You can't really see it. Dang it. Okay. She's gonna have to repair this and then be able to use it. He's having no fun whatsoever. I'm sorry, dude. Does he work tomorrow? If he doesn't work tomorrow... He does work tomorrow. Okay. Vince. Honestly, Scheherazad and Matt are getting along really well. Which is not going to work out in the long run because he's way older than her, but... Dang, they seem to be getting along swimmingly, actually. I mean, it's still pretty low. I mean, she doesn't have a, a good relationship with anybody but her own family. Oh, yeah, you need to... Can you come over here? Come on. Play multiplayer game. Play party frenzy with... Yes, yes, yes. No. No. You know what? I'm just gonna have him... Play party frenzy. So play game, play party frenzy, and then people can join in as they need to. Okay, so she needs to go to the bathroom next. So wait, so, ah, uh, hold on. She needs to scavenge her parts there really quick. Oh, she just went to the bathroom, so that's okay. So we're actually gonna have her clean up some stuff. And then she is going to use the bathroom as well. Oh my goodness, so let's see what we got going on here. So, got more stuff I can sell? I do got more stuff I can sell. I can sell that. And I can sell that. And I can sell this. I can sell your homework for a dollar. Every dollar counts. I can sell seven parts. That's good, right? Not a lot, but enough. <gasps> the camera's two thousand. No. No. I kind of like the idea of maybe photographer in the future with the family. But do I like it now? Okay, what did we all get here? $525 here in... Yeah. Sorry, hubby. Selling your award. I had to... Seraphina had to sell hers, so we're selling yours. And I'm gonna sell that camera, too. Ah, uh, 49,000. We're getting so. Oh no, she broke the sink! Why don't you come and join? And you stop doing that, because you can come and join as well. And you can really quick. Are you gonna eat? Yeah, she's gonna eat. So now everybody's eating, so I can put this away. And then after that, then she can repair that. As mad as Lou just standing in, in the middle of them trying to play the game. Oh yeah, he played too! Awesome! Wow, who knew Matt was going to be the cool neighbor? Matt's the cool neighbor, you guys! Finally, one of the cartridge blowers is the cool neighbor, not the crazy one. Well, Nikki was pretty cool too. Amber and Cody kind of suck. Man, it's so sad that he's gonna die as soon as we, like, unpause the game from aging after I do their, like, solo episodes. He's gonna die, you guys. That's depressing. That is so depressing when I think about it. The more I think about it, the more depressing that is. Right, you need to scavenge for parts. How are they all doing on, like, stuff for work? Okay, so she wrote a book, and she's got skill level at three. She should probably maybe write another book? 
Like, can I write another genre book? She can write a short story. Maybe that's what we'll do in her private episode. Immediately Matt went home and like set everything off with the loud noises. Like really? Okay, so really quick, throw that away. And also throw that away. And then we are going to politely knock on the door because we just kind of made friends and we don't want to ruin our friendship that we just made. God, he's angry. Because he wants to sleep in a hot second here. So really quick though, let me um, get leftovers for him because he's still hungry. There we go. Nikki's having a party. Uh, complain about loud noises. Oh man, her! Did you see that? They were like so like. Uh, Hey, we live here too. Sorry, your life is boring. Screw you, Nikki. Bye. Okay, so now that we've done that, mm, she's kind of hungry too. Well, you know what? Maybe she'll just eat in the morning. She will go to sleep. He's gonna eat, and then he's going to go to sleep. He, mm, he could eat too. But he's just going to have a quick meal of some chips. And then he's going to go to sleep. And what is she up to? She is on the computer. She should eat too. Gosh, everybody should just eat. Um, let's... Mm, quick meal for you too. Of some cereal. And then go to sleep. So once everyone's in bed, that's going to be the end of this episode. And kind of the end of the first generation. Like, this is how it ends, you guys. Like, yes, we're still going to have two more episodes of each of our heirs. But they're not really going to be, like, episodes. I'm not going to number them part of it. It's going to be, like, the air specials. Like, air special one and air special two. Um, and, man. So this is really how this ends for them. Because in the next official episode of the series... It's going to be, like, one of them is going to be gone. Like, you're still going to see them again in the air special, but one of them's going to go. I think maybe whoever loses, I will leave them in the house long enough to watch their father die. Um, oh, that sounds so bad, but he is going to die really soon. Man, who's going to be more upset when that happens? Let's see, who is he closer to? He's closer to Scheherazade. I would have thought that he was closer to Arthur because they always seem to like hang out and stuff. So who who lost? Like old times from being near family, noisy neighbors, exhausted. Who won the game? Did she win the game? From genius, from focusing, from a good environment being decorated. Did he win the game? I don't know who won the game. So that means he is no longer in a club either. So maybe we will uh, start a new club tomorrow as well, too. So, okay, so you guys finish your food. That's, that was floating there for a second. What is he up to? I thought I told him to eat something. Like, seriously, dude, have a quick meal of some chips like I told you to, and then go to sleep that I never did turn this off did I oops uh, forgot to do that when it was cold and warm and all that I don't even know what season it is it's fall apparently oh that's right tomorrow is harvest fest oh yeah that's a thing oh. okay so maybe we will have one more episode with them as a family before we do no no I don't know what I'm going to do now, because I was going to do, like, recording of each of their, like, air episodes next, but I, it feels like I shouldn't do that on Harvest Fest Day. Okay, you know what? Oh, he's about to pass out. And he is out like a light. Well, that's a thing. Maybe a screen cap? I don't know. Uh really quick 
Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't do the air episodes on Harvest Fest Day. I mean, they won't have work, so that's one thing. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen next. Um, but I think we're going to end the episode here because he's passed out. Soon he'll be passed out forever. Oh, man, I'm just harping on the fact that he's going to die once I un unfreeze time. So, uh, yeah, you go to sleep. Go to sleep with your wife. Enjoy your time together. You don't have much of it left. Uh, so that's going to be it for this episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge. Um, there might be another episode next. There might be the air special next. I don't know what's going to happen because it seems weird to have one of the airs have to, like, goal themselves on Harvest Festival Day. So maybe we'll do one more episode. So one more episode just with Time Frozen because today's Harvest Fest. But then after that... Then, for realsies, we're going to get serious about this airboat. So you still get one more opportunity to kind of maybe get to know the two of them before we get to know the two of them. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge, and we will see you in the next episode where he's going to go to the bathroom, like, immediately and then eat something as well, too. But in the next episode, we will have Harvest Fest.